From the beginning of time, man has asked such questions such as, Where do we come from? Where do we go when we die? What happens to our spirit, and what can I do to make sure I make it to my own utopia or paradise? The Egyptians were firm believers in the afterlife. When you died, it was believed that your soul went on a journey into the underworld. Once there, you stood in judgment before Osiris, Lord of the Underworld. If you had been a good person, your soul would be reunited with your body, and you would live in paradise for eternity. In order for your soul to recognize you on its return from the Underworld and allow you to live forever, you had to look as you had done in life. A dead person had to be preserved as perfectly as possible. This is my task as the embalmer. My job is to remove organs and fluids, then preserve, wrap, and give spiritual protection to the body. The embalmed bodies are known today as mummies. The beginning process of embalming the body is washing the body in the Nile River. Once the body is brought to me, I must first remove the brain. The tool I use is a hook, and I push it up into the brain through the roof of the nose. I move the hook back and forth to break the brain down. Then I turn the body over, and the brain flows into a bowl. Next, I must remove the vital organs from the body. I will remove the liver, lungs, stomach, and intestines. The heart remains so that the soul can recognize the body. I place the organs in canopic jars to be protected by the sons of the god Horus. The fluids in the body can leave the body vulnerable to decay. I bury the body in salt for 40 days to remove the fluids from it. Because of the lack of liquids, the body has become dark and thin. The body is then wrapped in linen. I place special charms called amulets between the linen wrappings. After wrapping the body and placing the special amulets within the linen, a mask is placed on the mummy. And also, a copy of the Book of the Dead is placed with the body. The casket is then sealed with the mummy inside it, and it is ready to meet Osiris.